still has to learn a lot in terms of game intelligence. And pretty shortly, Accra Hartsburg will get the game underway. And it's all live on your home of soccer, Metro TV, of course, across the length and breadth of Africa, including our Ghana. Quite and interesting. Look at our um, attendance here today. Um, although it is a Sunday game, I thought um, the spectators were going to be less, but I'm, 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 I'm very impressed by what we're seeing here at the Bayern Sports Stadium. Okay, Norte. Back to Tessa Norte. Playing a left back. Played a bit power role in hard season last year. And now, Koroko. But uh, the ball blocked. That was uh, Samad Opon who scored against King Faisal in his first game for Koroko. And that's a foul advantage. Kumasi has Sandy Koroko. Some of the fans not too happy about it. And Opusu up here. Well, looking for Alexa someone gets him, but uh, ball control lets him down. And so, Accra Hartsburg get control of the ball. Ishmael Ayi, who impressed against Heart of Lions. Bernard Tuffy. And Ofusu up here. Played for Ghana at the Chan seven months ago. Ball's just been trundled, and now Alexa Samoa uses pace. Some other pawn. Well, tried a neat one too, but it ended up being a free kick to Kotoko. Alexa Samoa, 200,000 Ghana cities he cost from Ashko. Remains Ghana's record signing. Well, indeed, I think that um, uh, along the season he did justify himself scoring some important goals for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, although he was not that exceptional. But I think that he justified why he was bought for that much of an amount. And now a throw in. And Asamoa and Michael Ufusuapia, CID they call him. Sends it a good one in there. Well, slip past everybody. And Kotoko still have a chance. And this is Samad. Fires! Oh dear! That could have entered. And hard to under the cushion. And the ball had been well crossed inside. But uh, once again the ball cleared by Hart to Book. Anxious moments for Hart to Book there, but the ball eventually kept in play and Hart to Book still remained dangerous. And Hart to Book trying an attack of the arrow. And cut a ball. And the ball came long and hard to Luis Benu, who seems to be maintaining his place at right back now that Inkum has joined Basel in the Swiss League. And it's a free kick advantage, hard to book. No, it's advantage, cut And the referee making sure that was the action there. It looked really, really dangerous for hard to book. And that was a shot from Sam Adopon. Was deflected, but Lord Korte beating all ends up. Hard to look very, very fortunate. They are indeed very fortunate on that occasion. I think that should have been the first goal for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But across the folk should come this. Yes, that's lucky. I think they were left on the hook on that occasion. And now, Ishmaelai trying to win the ball, but Samad Opon wins the ball back. He also cost quite a fair bit of money. And now, Michael Opusu up here. Looking for Francis Kofi. Who has some good, decent win play. And that's a lovely ball down the right. If he can get there, Haruna Ganiu, no, it was never going to happen. And so it is a throw in. And hard to work. We'll be looking to make sure that Koroko don't get the chance to actually do their damage. Benadon Bote trying to free things on. Douglas Nkrumah. The ball fed through to your Apu, but unfortunately, now Koroko. This is Alexa Samoa. What can he do with this particular ball? Sends the ball inside. Samad Apon. Alexa Samoa. Failed to control the ball. I think there was suspicion of handball. And that is something he has to polish up. Scored 16 goals last season, but still has a lot to work on on his game. And that was one such example. Failed to control the ball. And as a result, didn't take advantage. And Samuel Jesse very quickly stamping his authority. He's also one of the nominees for Referee of the Year, I have to mention. And hard to do. Tiafilo Zapo. Bernard Kofi. And Mighty Jets full back. Looking for Douglas from a fine set. Good play there. And now, Tetenote. And now Hearts of them beginning to make an attack of their own. And that was a very, very strong challenge coming from the Busapia. And it's a corner kick to Hearts of them. And then, then you can see the fans of Akras of Folk and they, they seem to be very um, enthused about the way their team is playing. I played like a game of that particular incident. And whenever Dumbote is on the ball, don't, don't be surprised that the fans will, will 
Well, that ball beat almost everybody in the penalty area, and uh, Bernard Kofi running almost languidly, but gets the ball eventually. And the cross comes in, and Bernard Dombote seems free, and Dombote! But Isaac Abraco was onto the ball like a flash. Has to be said, there wasn't much power behind that particular shot. And that was a foul there from Ebenezer Tete, who was slotted in to replace Gordon Osebos, who who's moved to Cyprus. And that was the cross that came in. A speed work done by Samuel Afum and Dombote, not getting hold of the ball quite yet. And Haruna Ganiyu put out of the final academy. Obosopian, what a bad pass that turned out to be. And Eric Gaou would love to take advantage of that. And Ishmael Ayi keeps the attack going, and Ben Akofi. Well, and Jordan the Popo had to intervene before things got out of hand for Potopo. Hard to do. On the other hand, beginning to stand the authority, Douglas and Kuma. Kofi, it's going to be used as an outlet from the right. A bit of a deflected cross, Ishmael Ayi trying to get that ball, but it's a throw in to Hard to do. Never forget the top four clash between these two sides. Five years ago in 2004, Kodoko Hearts 2-1, only to find out that King Chrysler beat Liberty 2-0 in the car, the Liberty Trophy. And it's a chance, that's a good header for Don Dombote. Two chances now for Don Dombote, both grab, but does that signal that this is just only a matter of time before he actually scores? Well, let's wait until after the Kodoko attack, and I'll let Delali come in with that particular answer. But at the moment, it is a free kick. Jordan Okoku. And Francis Kofi finds Michael Ofusuapia. And now, Samaropon, going out wide. Had a very good season last year, scoring 12 goals. Goes down. And what does the referee say? He says it's a penalty. Has very good control over this. But this was one cross that came in, and that was the header from Don Bote, grabbed by the goalkeeper. Very, very calm there. Good header from Dumbote, but I think that the defensemen of Kotoko really have to um, lift up their game if we need to want to repel some of these attacks and move from Akara as a folk. Corner kick comes in. Well, Lokote threw himself. He was fully committed. Jordan Opoku. And Haruna Ganiyu. Well, falls down, but still has the ball. Tried to feed the ball through without success. And now hard to work. On the attack themselves. And this is a lunge busting run. Well. If it hadn't been for that interception by Godfrey Yabua, we would have been talking about a certain goal, but another act well. A cursory glance would deceive you into thinking that was uh, a good tackle, but it looks like he went in two-footed. Well, on Douglas and Kuma, and the referee, eagle-eyed, spotted it, and he probably should have got a yellow card for that action. That was a good call from the referee, and as you said, Chris, I thought that a yellow card should have been flashed there. The intentions of the player was well read. Uh, by the referee and I think that I'm uh, looking at the playback once again it looked too physical, too robust for a football match we are not playing Kung Fu <laughs> and I thought we kickbox it here and, and I certainly would agree with you on that but Don Bote, the last time he played in a competitive match against Kumasi Asandekoroko he scored from a free kick from, from a similar position and um, he always brims with a lot of confidence whenever he's playing against Kumasi Asandekoroko sometimes we well, keep let's, wondering let's why let's see what he does with this one well what a goal what a screamer! Unbelievable! We were talking about Ben Adombote and he has done it! Right into the top corner! This is top class! Ben has done it again! You would just said it and I was just also... Yeah, that's a playback once again. Goalkeeper has come up, had it alright, but I think he was a shade late there. Too powerful a shot for him to control. And that's a good goal coming from Ben Adombote. We were just saying it that he scores anytime he plays against Kumasi Asante Kotoko and he scores from familiar positions like this. And a Kumasi Asante Kotoko, I go down, but we'll say splendid indeed coming from Ben Adombote. Um, he's been out of the country for some time now. The whole of the last season, once again, that's a playback of the shot. The goalkeeper really he went upright and um, he didn't have he any had, chance at all. He had no chance whatsoever. No chance at all. Well, this is the script that a crowd of wanted written. And Kodoko now will have to fight back. We, this is game on. Really a game on. To, we'll really have to fight as hard as they can. The cross comes in, but uh, hard to do. We'll be buoyed by that goal. This is a, a very good hunting ground for them. Hearts have not beaten Kumasi Asante Kodoko here since 1999. I've the league records, but 
Now, this is uh, Haruna Ganyu. Sends a good cross in. And Kotoko would like to fight back. Part of it. And Dombote, it's a free kick. And it's advantage Kotoko. And Alex Asamoa. And Kotoko, it's important they keep calm and they seem to be doing that. Alex Asamoa does very well. Finds Samado Pong. Skips past a challenge. Goes past another. The tackle comes in. But Kotoko still have it. And Kotoko now turning on the screws. And this is Ganyu. Well, decided to go for a non-drop and instead reached for the supporters. I think they need to calm down. Um, the game is still young. We're just about 15, 16 minutes into the game. We're just about 10 minutes into the game. And um, we've got uh, about 90 minutes to do in regulation time. Once again, a playback of the Ganyu's wasted opportunity. I think they need to calm their nerves. They should know that there are more minutes ahead. Come down, probably they'll get any dead equalizer they want. And the ball being kicked inside. And Eric Gau, Godfrey Yoboa. And Godfrey Yoboa gets the ball out of the danger zone. And Karim Alassan and uh, Evans Asetra are doing extremely well. Bernard Dombote was racing from an offside position. So Kumasi Asan will get the ball once again. And Luis Queno. And that, that is Douglas Nkrumah fighting very hard. Well, the ball is kept in play. And so, Ibn Zatete gets the ball away. It's a throw to Kodoko. And now, Samaro Paul tries to go past another man. Beaten to it. And Afum is back to help. And Hartsifu get the ball out of the danger area. Dombote. But Nia J gets the ball away from him. And this is Jordan Opoku. Luis Queno decides to spread play. Finds Michael Ofoswapi at the left back. And that's a good turn. But unfortunately, there was no support. Well, there was a bit of a pull, and the referee, given a verbal caution, he's not been quick to come out with his cards, but he's been very stern. But of course, and Alex Asamoa, Samara Pong, trying to jink past one player. But Kodoko still putting the attack on. Jordan Ropoku tries to slip the ball behind, and Ganyu goes forward. And the ball cleared out for a corner kick and Kotoko sustaining some pressure. We're 12 and a half minutes gone and Kotoko down by a goal. A fabulous free kick, I have to say, taken by Bernard Rombote. And but, that was the tackle. But I think the response of Kotoko is quite positive. Um, it looks as if they've, they've really carried the game against a two across of Fook after that goal. And the corner kick! Well, very good corner kick, but Hart defended it very well. And Kotoko still retained on the attack and this is Francis Kofi. On his weaker right foot, he couldn't send in a good cross and Hart will get him all away. And this could be the first turn into attack, not if Kodoko is having anything to do with it. Luis Queno crosses the ball inside and Hart deal with the danger. Hart And Ebenezer Tete. Bernard Kofi. Ishmael Ai. And Don Bote. Splitting from wing to wing. And the ball, a searching one for a goal. But uh, that was a foul there. Kodoko will need some inspiration. Otherwise, this is going to be their third straight competitive defeat under Herbert Addo. And certainly that will not be good reading on the CV of a man who has made certain demands that uh, most soccer funders believe he was right to make. Kodoko described him as way too high. But his bargaining power is beginning to... Uh, go down and if he loses his game, he's looking quite worried, if he loses his game then Kodoko probably might have the grounds to say okay thank you very much and bye bye. Indeed that's, that's what the picture looks like, that's what he's painting either on the wall but um, I think that Herbert Addo, um, he just needs to calm his nerves it's all the time. Kodoko always um, when you're coaching them, you need to, you seem to be under some sort of pressure but that's coaching Nino you know, Thompson, I wonder what he's discussing with the fourth referee there but um, <laughs> I think they need to come their names. It's too early in the game. And this is uh, one of the first Kumasi Asante for the Hearts of Oak clashes where both coaches are under pressure, it mm -hmm. has to be said. Yeah. And Jordan Opoku went uh, clearly under pressure. Nino Thompson walking off, not happy about something, but back to the area of play. And Kodoko seemed to lack a bit of ideas, but that's a good ball through. Samaro Pong 
Oh, that he was diving like an eagle, and he could easily get punished for that. But I think that Sapatopo has seen so much of the ball this afternoon. But I think that he really, yeah, that once again trying to outrun his mark, I couldn't do it more. But I think that it's about time that Samuel Opon start releasing most of the passes that come to him for, for, for the team to play constructively. It looks as if he, he seems to be hanging on the ball quite too much. And he dove like an eagle there. Fortunately, the referee decided not to book him for diving. And Godfrey Yaboa will see this game. This match to touch and it's a, a goal kick. And I'm sure the longer things go on like this for Kodoko, fans will start screaming for the name of Stephen Odo, who seems to turn games around whenever he plays. He also has a good scoring record against Hearts of Oak. Actually, he scored when Kodoko lost 2-1 here to Hearts of Oak the last time they met. But he's on the bench today. Ganiyu Haruna. Nia J. Good skill there. Tries to go past this man, but uh, failed to be strong. And Hearts of Oak maintain possession. And this is Tetanote. The left back. And Douglas Nkrumah. Uh, well, miscommunication. Ishmaelai probably should have left it for Eric Gao, who was better placed to cause havoc to Kodoko. And it's a free kick advantage. Hearts of Oak, who seem to have settled down after the initial exchanges. Kodoko were all, all over them, but after they got their goal, they've settled down. The pace has evened out a bit. Uh, Kodoko will need some level of inspiration and they're counting on that man to do that. Alex Asamoah is yet to score against Hearts. In fact, he had a rather poor match in that 2-1 loss and had to be taken off at some stage. Ball cleared inside. And Hearts of Oak trying all sorts of uh, tricks. Eriga was trying to lay it back. Fortunately for Kodoko, it was blocked. But Kodoko will have to watch the rear guard properly because Hart still keep attacking. Note, good ball in. And that's a very good catch by Isaac Amarco. Now, although Isaac Amarco has considered a goal here, to me, ever since that Herbert Mensa, Her sorry, Herbert Ado came over to take about the, uh, to take over the technical direction of the team, this one player that has really done well, um, talking about goalkeeper Isaac Amarco, indeed, um, his contract has been extended just about two or three days ago, and I think that he'll do a lot for Kumasi Asante Seems very confident all the time when he's in the post for the team. Okay, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with uh, Isaac Amarco. He had no part in that particular goal. There was nothing he could have done about that ball. It was a, a deliciously swipping ball that just went past him, swerved into the net. There was nothing that he could have done about it. But Karim Alassan, one of the reasons why Hartford won the Premier League, solid at the back, they called him the Boulder. Karim Boulder Al Hassan. That's a strong name. And now, oh, that's a crafty header on by Bella Dromboti. But the referee saying it's a free kick and Domoti on the turf. He will get up. He will get up. But ever since he got that goal, I've not really seen him in much of the action um, this afternoon. Talking about Domboti, although he scored the first goal for Kara, so for the first and only goal yet. But it looks as if uh, he's been eclipsed by the defenseman of Kumasi Asante Kotoko after scoring that goal. And now Kotoko trying to send in a ball in there. Well, some confusion, but Lord Kote was able to uh, get that ball. Take a look at that once again. Karim Alassan hesitated, but Lord Kote was onto it like a flash. And uh, that was exactly what was going on. And now Hearts of Oak, Eric Gau. Jordan Opoku retrieves the ball, gets the ball back. And that's a very good ball in. And Samara Paul tried to thread it through to Alexa somewhat, but good defensive work by Benito Teta it meant that that ball was cut out. And Michael Ufuswapia, well, that was the uh, attack that was set through. Samara Pont tried to slip it through, but uh, good defensive work. Meanwhile, the Kraha Tavuk have a free kick. But to me, one of the one of the good purchases for Kumasi Asante Kotoko this mid-season or this, um, um, this this part of the season has been the purchase from Ken Faisal. I was talking about Samad Opong. He's seen so much of the ball here. I think he just needs to grow up in confidence, and I think he's going to really be um, a good a good purchase for the Pokemon Warriors. Down so well for Ken Faisal, and also see if he's going to repeat that with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, judging from the way he's playing this afternoon here at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Meanwhile, Hartsburg still trying to attack. 
And that was a crucial clearance there by Ovuswapia. But Ishmael Ayi, nimble player. And look at that, set the ball up for Bernard Kofi. But he failed to keep the ball in play. Hartaburg seemed to have that bit of spark, that bit of ingenuity that was missing for so long last season. They almost blew their chance of winning the title. One they did, it took a last minute, get, last game against Sporting Miren. Some of the Fumu scored both goals in that game. It's been rather anonymous in this particular one. Very, very indeed. But you know, um, Chris, um, some of the coaches who are participating in this North for Tyrone are saying that they think that the timing of the competition is taking a toll on their players. Um, Herbert Ado has been saying it much and again that he thinks that his players are just too tight for this competition. Meanwhile, I spoke with um, Mr. Uh, Vincent Odete who was some time back. He told me that he thinks that the top four competition has outlived its usefulness. I don't know. What do you think about it? Well, uh, that, that is a, a topic for another forum. <laughs> for the moment, this is the game under this player, Samad upon the man you were talking about. Now, Alex is someone trying to lay that pass on. And no, Hart of Oak deal with it efficiently. Just over 20 minutes gone. If you've just joined us, Hart, our leading quarter for by a goal to know Bernard Dombote. Who else? Getting that goal. And now, Hart of Oak. Well, Hart of Oak just came steaming forward. And that was Eric Gow. And he's not happy about something, but he really left Godfrey Yabua for dead, came forward, but his final touch let him down. Meanwhile, it's a clearance there. And Hartsburg trying to deal with uh, dangers of your own. And Alex has some one foot offside. He's been the one player who's been caught offside more than any other player in the Premier League this season. That's very true. That's very true. Especially when he's combining with a player like Kobna Yaro. Uh, you, you, you're obviously going to see a lot of that. But in this particular instance, the assistant line one, talking about um, Alex Emin, had the flag up, brought it down again before to get up sometime, uh, back again. And I think that, look, our, our officials sometimes should, also, should always be displaying confidence instead of being um, inconsistent in, uh, in some instances. Ball's just been kicked inside, and Francis Kofi. Ball's just been uh, put inside by the fans. Kodoko fans not too happy about what's going on. As Kodoko take this free kick. And Samara Paul. Seemingly waiting for the ball, but they know he is a danger. In fact, in his last game for King Faisal, he scored twice against Kumasi and Santa Kodoko. And he has also scored against Hearts. I was in the free kick in King Faisal's 2-1 loss to Hartsburg at the Ohinijan Sports Stadium in the first round. Now, Koroko. Good scale. The least said about that converted effort, the better. Francis Kofi, who actually scored for Koroko to break a 16-year-old record at the Ohinijan Sports Stadium, this time made a mess of it. He had, he had all the opportunities in the world to plan that one in. The goalkeeper was already displaced. And um, once again, uh, look, uh, look at that particular incident again. Good run coming from Samad Paul, And look at how the man blew away that opportunity. And, and, and Chris, sometimes I keep wondering that um, what's up with our strikers? Don't, don't really uh, take a cue from what they watch from those who are playing outside. Because, I mean, these are opportunities that one will see. A big thank you to talking about um, uh, the crowd there once again. Very, very um, an, an unexpected crowd, you know, very expectant. Once again, that is um, the shot coming from um, Francisco Fio on your screen. I think he could have done better on that occasion. That was a wasted opportunity. And now, Godfrey Joba has to get the ball out. And Samara Paul, it's been at the heart of everything good for Kodoko, but on that occasion, his pass was not the best. He was looking for a new signing, Haruna Ganiu. And Jordan Opoku will need to exert some level of influence on the match. But, Luis Queno. And Afum wins that ball. And Douglas Nkrumah. And Afum goes down. And it is a free kick. The referee telling EAJ that uh, it hit his arm. He's not very happy about that. And this is in a similar position. Where Dombote scored the first goal from. And now this is going to be interesting. Is Dombote going to do it again? He is standing behind the ball. There he is. And I think that Kotoko should really form their human shield. Their human will very well. Once again on your screens, that was the incident that the referee just whistled for. Uh, for an infringement against Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. Just, 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 just around the same place where the first goal was called from. And Isaac Amwapo will have to be careful. 
They say lightning never strikes twice, but it's proved to be an exception sometimes. And this time, Isaac Amafo was ready. Not as much power behind this one as the first free kick, and Amafo was equal to it. And Amafo. And hard to work. Well, that was a misplaced pass, and that gives could have got initiative. And the free kick was uh, a routine save for Isaac Amako. But dangerously, both free kicks were on target. And that's a good ball. If Ghani, you can get there. No. The vision from Jordan Okoku is the one thing that can still give Kodoko a chance. But one thing I observed this afternoon is the fact that um, Coach Herbert Addo has really changed um, the, almost the, the setup that he started um, in the last game last Wednesday against um, that was um, Ken Faisal. Uh, Mike Boache is not part of the team. Godfrey Fusu, one of the new signings, not also part of the team. Samad Opon, who started from the bench the last time against Ken Faisal, is starting today. And it looks as if um, he's rehearsing his team once again. And probably Herbert Addo will be using this competition um, as a point to really build up his team for the league. And Herbert Addo, on, the, on, the, on one hand, he's looking very concerned. If things do not go well for him today, then his bargaining power would have weakened considerably in trying to get a new contract. Good skill by Alex Asamoa, sensing a good cross. But it was a little bit too deep. And hard to move. That's good play by John Bote. He's in the pressure on the Haas defense. And Afum. He's been playing very deep today, it has to be said. And hard to move. Good play there. And Don Bate is onside. Oh no, he's not. He's offside. And Nino Thompson, not too happy about that. Yes, yeah, he seems not to be happy. But I would say at this point in time of the game, our crowds of folks seem to be brimming in confidence much. And they seem to be swinging their passes together, drawing rings around Kumasi Asante Kotoko. It looks as if they are really um, the pace at this point of the game. And. Hearts of Oak. But we're looking to thread another pass in. Michael Lucas up here now received the ball from his namesake. And once again, the ball has been received. Michael Lucas up here, veteran, even though he's still young, veteran of many, many continental campaigns for Colorado before he left in 2004. Herbert Addo is also a veteran coach. Had loads of campaigns now. The, well, across. And Alexa Samoa, well. One thing that counts against him is ball control, and Herbert Haddle would not have been happy to see that. Flicking across the ball, he was raising his hand as if Karim Malassan had uh, handled the ball. I mean, as a footballer, I always play to the whistle, and if the, if the referee has no whistle, you should continue playing instead of trying to raise up your hands. It takes some stem out of your play, and sometimes it really derails your sort of um, your, your, your build up. The ball killed inside. Hearts of Oak and Luis Queno. And well, ball goes down. Well, that was uh, down there. And now Harunaganiu tries to thread that pass in, but the Haas defense, well, this time Samad Opon gets the ball away, looking to create some space. He's quite skillful, but on that occasion, things didn't work out for him. And now Ai goes down. And hard to move. Still managed to move forward, but the referee calls play back for a free kick, and that was the foul by Nia J. Went down after he clashed into Jordan Opoku. And that was a good call from the referee. But one thing that I'm observing from the two teams is that it looks as if the players of Across Africa are playing with much motivation. It looks as if there is something there that they want to go and do, that they want to bring out. Now it looks as if the Kotoko players look a little bit like a big signal in the attitude. Well, you can only play as much as the team playing against you allows you to play. Perhaps it's much a credit to Hearts of Oak that things have turned out this way. And Tetanote goes past one man and Kodoko a bit under the push. They don't have that many men forward. And Afum still dropping very deep. It's like a new formation. Nino Thompson is trying out. And Afum tries to go past a few players. Didn't particularly work. And Kodoko. Almost every man is in their own half. And, well, some nifty skills by Bernard Ombote, but Kodoko get the ball away. 
but Bernard Kofi wanted to mark his debut with an improbable goal for Hart of Oak. It didn't work on that occasion. And I'm just trying to figure out the sort of role that Samuel Afum is playing today. I don't see him coming up front. He's known to be one of the natural strikers of Accra. So but today, I'm just trying to see whether he's playing just behind Bernard Dombote and Eric Gau, who has really been missing out on the action so far. Talking about Eric Gau, who's not seen so much of the action. And I wonder um, what's really happening to this striker. A good skill there by Ganiyu. And Luis Quinn will get a chance to send a good cross inside, but the defensive rear guard of Hartenburg has been working overtime to make sure that Kodoko don't have anything to do in the penalty area. And that's one of such examples. Tezenote. I was still close up, actually. And Quinn. Good skill. And the shot, well, that was a cross. And the boulder, Karim Alassa, gets the ball away. And good skill there. Uh, but the pass, a bit much. And Isaac Omafu gratefully picks it up. And Michael Opuswapia. For his namesake, and Michael Opuswapia. And now, Alexa Samoa is taking up a position down the left. Decides to go for goal, but lack direction in the shot. But I'm interested, but I think that was a good try. Um, they still need to be doing so much of those. Um, once again, that's a playback from Alex or someone. It was a good shot. He's not a bad striker, though. Um, it's just that finding things a little bit difficult for uh, playing against a crowd of folk today. And Lord Corte, who has been in and out of the Hearts team, but has been with Hearts of Oak for quite a while now. And Godfrey Jabot gets the ball away, but only as far as Dombote. And he manages. Did he force a corner? No, he didn't. But Bernard Dombote is on the turf. There's a challenge between himself and uh, Ofusu up here. And did he get a hit to the face? He's holding his face in agony. There was an elbow, but as to whether the elbow really got to the face of Dombote, um, it will remain a little bit debatable, but um, I think that there was really an action from Ofoso up here. And, well, it looks, doesn't look too clear there really whether an elbow connected with his face, but it's being seen to whilst the game continues. So, momentarily, Hearts are playing 10 men against 11. Alexa Samoa. It's a free kick to Kumasi and Alexa Samoa. A bit in pain. Once again, let's take a look at the challenge and see what actually happened. Oh, an arm came out. Yes, there the, the was really an arm. An yeah. arm came out, and Ufuswapia has to count himself very, very lucky. Very lucky. lucky. It looks as if the referee was not close to the scene, so he couldn't really um, um, come out with a card. But I think that was that was a grievous offence from Ufuswapia. And Michael Ufuswapia, not a bad free kick, and it's forced. Well, I thought that was a corner kick. That's surprising. The referee given a goal kick because the Hearts defender clearly headed the ball out. And that is uh, perhaps the only noticeable error made so far in this match by Samuel Jesse. And Lord Corte. Fortunate enough. Let's take a look at that once again. It was a clear header by a Hearts player. And that occasion that was Bernard Coffey. So an error by Samuel Jesse. Koroko. So trying to make sure that they can keep possession and move into Hart's half. But there aren't many men apart from some other point, Alexa Samoa, challenging really. And the Kotoko are not making use of their flanks at all. Francisco Fee is really virtually absent from the flanks where he, he usually operates from. And now Koroko, Haruna Ganiyu. Trying to win the ball, but the ball goes out. It's a throwing advantage, Hearts of Oak. He's had a tough time today, the ex final player. The ball's just been headed out. And it is a throw. Bernard Dombote chasing after. It's an interesting battle between himself and Ogoswapia. 
and he certainly will continue to pester the ex Heart of Lions defender. There they are talking with each other. They know it's going to be a battle over the entire 90 minutes. There, there, there you go again. And indeed, it's been a battle between the two ever since the onset of the game. Of course, up here, it's, it's, it's thinking like, I'm not going to give you any chance at all. And nobody will also think that, look, I need to play my heart out. So it's been a struggle between the two. But I think that they need to calm their nerves so that we have a decent game. Well, there's a chance I'm out of Paul. Send the cross inside, and Lord Quarter had to be quick to grab that ball. And Kodoko needs to up the tempo. Very good play there, but there was no one in the center at the time. Alex Asamon got there late after that pass from Samaro Pong. Lord Quarter had the ball in his arms before anything else could happen. Ball cleared inside. And it's a free kick advantage, Kodoko. And that was a clash. This time it was Luis Queno and Dombote. And it's a throw in to Kodoko at the moment. It's not, it's not every time that Kodoko has play and you see uh, just about half field stadium. But circumstances sometimes create that. When the results are not that good, it automatically decreases the le level of attendance. And Jordan Rokoku was about to send the stadium above with that shot. And eventually gets a free kick for his efforts. And Luis Queno, his cross, just not good enough. Hartaburg will look to start an attack of their own. Ishmalai, not a bad ball. Gau does extremely well. But still has Luis Queno to, to deal with. But the pass, he was on a different wavelength to Douglas and Kuma. And Mia J goes on a lung busting run. Goes for a trip, and that's a yellow card for Ishmaelai. It was a professional foul from Ishmaelai, and straight away he knew himself that he's going to take a yellow card. But um, had he not stopped um, Mia J in his strides, probably um, the equalizer would have come in for Kumasiya Santi Kotoko. Because from the onset, it looks as if Kotoko were three against two, and once again, that's the incident on your screens there. And that was a good call from the referee. He's had a decent game so far. And I think that um, he's, not, he's, not, he's not in any way under pressure about the two teams playing. Well, that was the tackle there. This was Eric Gau. Just trying to feed him the ball. Meanwhile, a while ago, an attempted scissor kick by Alexa Samoa resulted in him hitting the turf on his backside and not feeling too happy about it. He had other options. Probably he just wanted to make it look... Um, um, a little bit um, flashy, but I think that he had other options. He could have done better on that occasion. We're less than eight minutes to half time, and less than eight minutes plus time added on before Herbert Haru rips into his charges because he knows anything other than a win against Hearts of Oak today, and there will be serious questions asked about his future with Kodoko. Not to mention the fact that uh, in the Garden City of Kumasi, the economy grinds to a halt whenever Kodoko loses. Indeed. I have a friend of mine who operates a restaurant and a drinking bar. He tells me that, look, I'm a house of folk fan, but whenever I got to go place, I just want them to win because I can get my money. And uh, obviously the drinking bars will be praying for Kotoko. But uh, prayers don't do the trick. It is ability that does. In times like this, they say, each one for himself, God for us all. And at the moment, with Bernard Kofi picking up our hearts, have looked quite comfortable. And the boulder. Harry Malasa and Ufuswapia. Michael Ufuswapia, CID they call him. Probably have to call him CID to make a distinction between himself and Ufuswapia. But for the corner attack now. But lacking a bit of an idea of how to actually crack open the Haas defense. Popoku sliding a good pass through, but Luis Quenu was a little bit late in getting that ball and goes in two that He has to be careful. And Nino Thompson clearly not happy with that, even though Kodoko get the throw. I think that should have been a foul advantage, Hart. But Hart to look. Afum trying to feed the ball through. And Gau. And now, Afum. But good play there by Michael Lopuswapia. Well, try to get the ball away. Still has the ball. And it is a throw. 
And it's a boundary card to book. Our football will be hoping for a better return to Kumasi because the last time he was here playing for Hart against Kodoko, if he had put his chances away, Hart probably would have been 5 0 up at half time in that particular game. Indeed, that day, Afu was so woeful up front, and most of the chances fell to him. And unfortunately, he missed all the chances that came his way. And probably will be here today to make amends. But once again, he's not able to score. A cross of a leading, yes, but to a strike coming from Bernard Dombotti. And um, I think Afu will take some attention from the first eight men. But um, all said and done, I think that um, it's been an exciting game so far. The two teams trying to um, come out with some decent, decent uh, play here. Um, put into perspective the fact that they lost their, their first games in the competition, I think that is, they displayed quite an, an appreciable um, game here at the Barbara Sports Stadium so far. And now the ball has just been kicked inside. And now Don Bote tries to bend one, and this time goes off target, trying to show that he has the magic touch whenever it has to come to do with Kamasias and the ball. And it's so difficult to pick up. There he is once again was looking for just the space to bend that ball, and it did so. And hard to look. Defending extremely well. And Gau winning the ball in midfield. Nkrumah, Teofilo Zapu, Tetenote. Well, handball, and that was deliberate. An obvious one, and I think it should attract the card. Or at least a verbal caution. And that was the incident raised his arms and if the referee had seen more of that he would have given a yellow card Petanote well the cross turned into an attempt on goal but there wasn't much zip behind the ball to beat Isaac Amwako and Ishmaelai and now Jordan Opoku gracefully steps on the ball and Bit of a wrong option, but cut a ball. Offside. Who else? Alexa Samoa once again. And sometimes, sometimes I, I keep wondering whether um, the technical bench are not telling them that look, the offside trap is being set, and you guys should watch out because I think obviously he's done about three or four times, about five or six times in this game talking about Alexa Samoa. And another shot from Bernard Morte. And. We're left with uh, just about three minutes plus time added on to the end of the first half. And it's Kumasi Asante Kodoko nil, Akra Hatsubuk 1. Bernard Dombote scoring a fabulous free kick in the 16th minute. And now, Haruna Ganiyu. He's been less effective than he would have wanted in today's game. Jordan Opoku. Oh dear. That, is, that sums up. Kodoko's first half. Very, very unusual about um, Jordan Opoku. Very, very unusual. And the young man who has been called into the Black Stars set up a couple of times. The odds are heavily against him staying another season with Kodoko. He might move to the UAE. But at the moment, Samara Pong feed into it and hard to work. And that's a lovely ball to Douglas Nkrumah. Is he going to score against his former club? Sets up the ball. And Gawu, well, has another opportunity. And Dombote, it's a corner kick. I wonder the way they are playing. I wonder how they are playing this way. They seem really to be on a, you know, um, assistant pressure for Makra Hatsufu. And once again, Eric Gawu missed kick that one. That would have been the second goal for Akra Hatsufu. And had that been the one. case, probably a case of uh, the game dying out or the game going dead. As far as Hasbro are, are concerned, it would have probably killed the game. And Kodoko now battling to keep the score at 1-0 before half-time. And a quick drink of water from Luis Quinn will suffice. And that's a good corner and a good catch by Isaac Amwakon. And there you go, two corners each to Kumasi Asante Kodoko and Akra And Jordan Opoku goes past this man. And that's a good through ball. Kodoko should do something with this. That was a sweeping ball there, but it was not taken advantage of. And this is Harunakaniu. Well, corner kick. 
and that was a, an opportunity for for Marcia Santa to level the scores perhaps they can do something with the corner kick but Kofi not too happy and this was Jordi Lopoku fizzing across and across but once again the boulder Karim Alassan, a very, very good interception. But I think kudos to Jordan Opoku. He started the onslaught himself and coming in with an inswinger later. But I think he did well on that occasion. Kotoko looks um, coming closer for an equalizer before the end of the first half. Corner kick taken in. That's a brilliant save by Lord Kote. The header was going straight in, but Lord Kote blocked it brilliantly. Good goalkeeping. Lord Kote has been experienced. He's been in this terrain for a long time now. I think that um, he, 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 he really is not under any sort of pressure. Once again, that was a good save from the goalkeeper. Um, Kumasiya Sante Kotoko really, I would say, had luck on that occasion because um, they really um, did, did a lot to uh, deserve an equalizer in the last minute or two. And now we're into time added on. And Francis Kofi to take this free kick. One of what is going to try to bend the ball forwards with. Uh, Seven to eight for the players in the penalty area, all looking to pounce. And the Haas defenders also waiting. Well, the ball has been headed out into corner kick. And Francisco for this time will take the corner. That was a free kick once again. And arms were raised. Was that suspicion of a handball? And it's like he turned away quickly after blocking that ball. Now the corner kick. Well blocked up by Hartleberg. And two minutes of added time. And Kodoko. And Samara Pong. And Lord Quarte decides to get himself warm with a dive, but uh, Kodoko caught offside. He will not take anything for chance. And that was Samara Pong, actually, who was uh, caught in an offside position. Lord Quarte is, is pulled up a good save. As we come to the end of the first half. And it's Akra Hartsburg 1, Kumasiya Sandekotoko nil. But Hearts have been the guilty of party when it comes to fouls, 18 to 8. And that clearly shows you that it's been a real challenge. And it is foul advantage, Kotoko. And Isaac Amakon, as we enter the final minute of time added on for the first half. And again, Ebenezer Tete dealing with the danger. And Francis Kofi will try and do something on the left. Does extremely well, but only cuts back for Michael Fusuapia. And the ball spread out to Luis Queno. Tries to beat his man, but Douglas and Kroma doing extremely well to foil it. And the referee looking at his watch briefly. And Luis Queno has looked rather slow down the right, and as a result, he is not winning some of the 50-50 balls at very, all. Very, very slow and very, very sluggish um, from a liking. Uh, I wonder why uh, he seemed not to be so much into the game. And it is a, a throw in now. The last attack of the half for Kodoko. Before they go down into the dressing room. And Hartsburg deal with the ball. And that is the end of a first number that has been entertaining to some point. Good football, a fabulous goal, the difference between both sides. Bernard Robert is striking in the 16th minute to crown his collection of goals against Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. And as they leave the field, at half-time from the Babanyara Sports Stadium, it is Kumasiya Sante Kotoko nil, Accra Hatsuburg 1. We will be right back after the break. at least cancel the score or perhaps try to win three points of the top four campaign or risk the wrath of your supporters and Hearts of Oak also back here determined to get their first three points after also losing to Grand Heart of Lions and we'll be feeding you with the results or the scores from Accra as and when we get it between the Hearts of Lions and King Pfizer but at the moment Kofi on the ball CID that's Michael Obuswap here and Daniel Nier J, Ofuswapia himself, that's the other Ofuswapia. Nier J. Kodoko maintaining possession, but they have to make it count in the final third. And Alex Asama bursting forward, but Lord Quarter was quick off his mark to get that particular ball. Afu. 
playing in an unfamiliar midfield role, but he's got the skills to adapt to any role. Problem is when he's in front of goal, and that was a tackle there from Godfrey Yawada was judged to be illegal by the referee. And Bernard Kofi. But no, ch no, no changes to either side. <clears throat> we wait and see <clears throat> what time the two um, technical head will decide to bring in some changes. But for now, maintaining the first 11 in the first 45 minutes. This was starting the second half. And Bernard Dombote. Now to take this particular free kick. Bends the ball dangerously in and still some danger. And eventually the ball cleared before Afun could get there. Francis Kofi. And CID. Kicks the ball inside. Bernard Kofi. Francis Kofi. Getting the ball back. And Kodoko will have to start an attack all over again. And CID. Bends that ball inside. And Francis Kofi. Oh, well. The referee insisted that uh, Kumasi Asante got a kick to move in ball. And so the free kick has to be retaken. Jordan Opoku. And now, Michael Lufusso up here. And Samado Pong. Continued with a cross, but well blocked. Good skill by Ishmaelai. And Godfrey Oboa. Well, that's uh, Ishmaelai in your shot. Well cleared once again. And this is the boulder. Karim Alassan gets the ball out. Very strong built player. He's been so strong for a crowd of today in defense, talking about Karim Alassan. And that's a poor cross from Michael Obusu up here. And that ball swept inside, but uh, Obusu up here deals with it, the defender. And well, hard to work with it. Eric Gao goes past one man well, flies past to avoid a tackle. But Kodoko regained possession. And they have to do something about it. Samara Paul. Does very well. Uses boost strength. Moves forward. Is he going to go all, all on his own? Again, the boulder. Karim Alassan blocks him. Good skill there by Ai. But Kodoko maintained possession. And this is Samara Paul. Is he going to take a shot? Dribbles past. Flyers. And, well, offside. Offside. And that was a very, very, very good call by the referee. Indeed, it was, it was not just a player. One, two, three players from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But I think that once again, Samad Opon needs to release the balls as early as possible. Um, I think that he hangs on the ball for quite too long because probably he wants to impress the Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans. Here. But I think that a one-touch delivery from him will be better off than deciding to hang on it for quite some time. And Kotoko would feel that an opportunity is gone. But... Uh Game continues. And Hartleberg on the other hand. The ball slipped through and loads of confusion there. And some of the fans are a bit bemused as to what's happening. And that's the offside count. Five to two. And that is Alaji Inge, um, the CEO of Kumasia Santi Kotoko there in the shows together with Ali Maradona. But a crowd of folk away for themselves, the corner kick. And um, I think that um, Kumasia Santi Kotoko, um, they need to just calm down. Uh, we've got some more minutes to play. Corner kick, that's a dangerous one in. Well, Amwakon grabbed it on the second time of asking, but already the referee's whistle had gone to protect him from any further embarrassment. Some of these balls can dip quite viciously. They are quite deceptive sometimes. And Michael Ofuswap here. Godfrey Yeboah. And Ofuswap here. Ofuswap here once again. Slipping the ball through, and this time, Alexa Samoa taking a good position. Oh, tries to go past his man. This time, Karim Alassan, a judge to have illegally blocked Alexa Samoa, and was it from a similar position that, uh, well, let's take a look at that once again. Trying to go past his man. It was an obvious obstruction from Karim Alassan, and I think that was a good call from the referee. This looked assured at right back for Hearts of Book today on his debut, and Tiafila Zapu. And now, good play there. This is Kofi once again. Bernard Kofi. Dug in. The cross was way too deep. 
and so is the throw in advantage Toroko. And Nia J. He's not had one of his better games for Koroko this afternoon. And the Bulldog once again getting the ball away. At the Tenoti. Anywhere would do at this stage. You know, it's a little bit early to start playing that kind of football. Because 10 minutes is a long time and the substitution about to take place but that's only when there's a stop in playing activities Michael Ufusu up here the ball clear to touch for a throw in and so the substitution Francis Akpafo substitution for Kumasi and it's Luis Queno who is coming off. So clearly a change in tactics. Got to throw in more men forward. Luis Queno has had a decidedly poor game today. By his high standards, he's been disappointing. But I think what this change means is the fact that uh, Herbert Ado will want to score a goal because he's pulled out a defender and brought in um, a, a midfielder. And so he tells you that he's conscious about scoring goals. And I cleverly winning the goal kick. And with less than 10 minutes remaining, plus time added on, time is ticking away. And Alex Osama has had another frustrating game in front of goal. And in fact, Kodoko are yet to score from open play in this competition. They scored from a penalty in their 2-1 loss to King Faisal. And Chris, you know, sometimes I think that our strikers or some of our players really um, bring burdens or problems on themselves because, you know, Alex has some more immediately after the league season. He travelled all the way to Turkey, had not really had time to train with his, his, his colleagues um, until somewhere during the week when he was born, when he came back into training. So sometimes you find them wanting when you put them into games of this nature. Well, we'll have to wait and see whether that has had any bearing on him. We've seen players who have returned from field trips abroad and be reborn. Now Francis Kofi. And that's good skill there. And it's a shot, oh yeah! Lack of communication. And now, Hartsburg have the impetus for an attack. And Douglas, well, offside. Offside on Bernard Dombote. They had to time their pass perfectly. It wasn't gonna come. And Gilbert Fiamenyo, who came on for Hartsburg against Final Heart of Lions and almost scored, being ready to enter the fray. But uh, Aquafo's first touch, the cross comes in. And Francis Kofi. And the shot. Is that a goal? No, offside. Surprise, surprise, Alex Asamoah yet again. He will be frustrated. Having a barren spell in front of goal, gets one. But is chopped off for offside. No protest at all from the player, so it tells you that really. Um, let's look at it. Let's look at the playback once again. Yes, indeed, he was alone there. The flag was up, and I think it was a good call from the uh, referee and his assistant. And Fiamenyo hit a shot that cracked up the inside of the bar when Heart of Good played against Mamma Heart of Lions in midweek. And Eric Gao, who has worked himself into the ground, coming off to be replaced by the promising striker. Seven and a half minutes to go. Well, what's happening? Francis Kofi trying to drag Gao off, and he's not too happy about it. He wouldn't be happy at all. I, mean, I don't think it's done that way. Um, <laughs> it tells you how frustrated Kumasi has Antigua Toko are ah, at this point in time of the game. Fiamenyo. So in there, the ball kicked inside. Uh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was what was going on. I thought it was uh, giving him commiserations as it was going on. No, no, he wanted to drag him off as quickly as possible. An interesting incident. Udru. Well, well, well. Things not going too well, but that's... Sometimes, a moment of inspiration, these moments like these, and Kodoko now have possession. Edward Afu. Corner kick to Kodoko. But Afu has been very enterprising ever since he came on into the game. He's brought much bite into the attack of Komasi Asante Kodoko. And Francis Kofi. Now Afum, the header, Karim Alassan, and Lord Korte comfortably grabbing the ball. Time ticking away. And this will be the first time in a top four tournament that after two games, Kodoko still don't have a point if the score stays the same, that is. And Hartsabuk. Dombote is in a good position. Dombote 
dragging himself wide. Sends the ball inside and Hamza Abdullahi could not use the requisite ball control needed. And Bernard Kofi crosses the ball inside. And Douglas and Krumah failed to keep the ball in play. But John Botte missing a chance. Bernard Kofi has looked very promising, a former Mighty Guest defender. And he has provided an outlet for attack from the left. And looks as though Hartenberg gradually bringing down the average age of the team and is working to good effect for them. And Bernard Kofi really has been very, very, very um, enterprising. He's been very, very effective today in the game. And this is the first time I'm seeing him playing and I think that I'm very, really happy about his ability. And the ball from Michael Ufoswap here. Well, went to touch. Clearly, today is not Kumasi Asandekorobo's day. But uh, we have all of about five and a half minutes plus time added on for me to be proven wrong. Which, which means so much in association football. I mean, even two minutes in, in football means so much time. And Edward Afum, what a hero he would become if he becomes the man to hold Kodoko level. Ball kicked inside. And I Kicks the ball inside there. And Godfrey Jabbar had to be timely with his clearance. And Udru. And almost immediately, Afum. This looks very promising, and that's a good ball. And this is Kofi. He needs to get a good center in for Koroko. Still has the ball. Does very well. And Afum, trying to do too much himself, still has the ball. Picks himself up. And this is a chance for Koroko. They have to do something with this. And this is some other ball. Oh, there. And the shot coming in. Oh, there. The final delivery was very, very good. Um, it's just unfortunate that he missed the post by inches, but that was good and enterprising play from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. A sense of agency, purposefulness really on their parts now because they know that the minutes are taken away. We've got just about four minutes more to do in regulation time, and um, defeat is staring the face of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But that was a good play from the Pokemon Warriors. Nia J was hoping that somebody was going to latch on onto that ball, but uh, it wasn't to be. A lull in playing activity with a player being seen to, it's a heart of a player, this is Bernard Dombote limping. He's been the man who has been running in between the lines up front, the goal scorer. It was really not an intentional play from, um, that was um, Ufusu up here. I think it was a, a tussle for the ball mid-air and um, I think um, Dombote rather fell awkwardly and that's what that resulted in this injury rather pathetic um, for picking up this injury at this time of the game. But then, across the folk are yet to exhort their substitution, so they still have a chance to replace Bernard Dobote with another player. Well, he scored an absolutely sumptuous goal. And across the folk fans would love to call him that that goal. A man who hails from Teshinungwa, firing that ball in there. One of the few players to have uh, crossed town from a crowd Road Olympics to a crowd Hearts of Oak. Well cleared inside and now this is a chance for Fiamenyo. Looks very, very strong. There he is. He's going to hold. Well, goes down. And it's a corner kick. <laughs> Samuel K. Jesse Interesting. will not be tricked into giving a penalty. Not today. He hesitates, you know. Um, it looked as if he was going to blow his whistle for a penalty kick. The fans were calling for it, but it looks as if it was an obvious tackle. Um, I mean, he was brought down in his tries, talking about Fiamenyo. It could have been given, but it wasn't. So it's a corner kick to a crowd heart of Oak as we approach the dying embers of the game. And nerves are jangling. If Heart of Oak can score again, then it's game set and match for the Phobians. And Don Bote is back. He's going to take this corner. And. Returning from injury takes a poor one, which is very much unlike Bernard Dombote. But hard to go, keep the heat up. And Douglas and Krumah chasing for the ball. Steven Odro has to clear, but hard to go. And look at that run by Tetanote. Offside, offside. The fans, the hard to fans waiting eagerly. They have just about two minutes plus time added on to go. They're just waiting for the whistle of the referee. Steven Odro looking for Afum's run. And it is a corner kick. 
and Fu making himself a nuisance and just, so that's a corner kick and certainly but it will have to put their all into this particular attack because they stand the risk of losing and that will be three straight competitive defeats for Kumasi Asandekotoko under Herbert Addo it will weaken his negotiating power if that happens the ball headed out ball cleared out once again and this is Ofoswapia Michael Ofoswapia the left back trying to beat his man well bit of confusion in the Hearts penalty area the ball eventually cleared it's a throw in advantage of the Phobians for Hearts to vote or is it and with the minutes left, it looks as if a crowd of folk will be cruising to yet another victory of Akumasi Asan Tikoto Kwa Adamabaya Sports Stadium. Three minutes of time added on coming up. We're just about 19 seconds from the end of uh, normal regulation time. In three minutes, that's all the time for the will have if they are to pull the chestnut out of the fire. If they are to get out of jail, well, they won't have that. They will not have for the whole leveling. The hearts of book supporters, they are rejoicing. They are delighted. Jubilating. We can't begrudge them. Certainly can't. Especially the powerful chapter 9. Good team from Arsene. They will be the orchestrators of Fatin. Of course, yes. Yeah, talking about Baba Shai and um, Abbas and his men. They always marshal themselves to sing um, to the admiration of the players. And Afu was trying to get the ball. But once again, Karim Alassan. And this time, anywhere would do. But Michael Ofoswap here sends a good ball in if he can keep it in play and that was not going to happen Francis Apafo throws up his hands in frustration and Francis Kofi is looking bemused frustration on the part of the Kotoko players and then they know that time is on on their side we're doing an injury time now and they really have to redouble the effort if really they want to get an equalizer so they have to and Godfrey Yabua would love to inspire his boys Late equalizers. Well, this is Don Bote racing for that particular ball. Finds Fiamenyo, but eventually the ball cleared. But Hamza Abdullah does very well. And Hearts of Oak, a shot coming in, but uh, if it had been a cross, Fiamenyo would have been on the end of it, but the goalkeeper grabs it. And again, Koroko losing the ball. And I, he's worked very hard today. And Fiamenyo. He is strong, but the ball getting to Isaac Amakon. He probably boots the ball upfield. But again, the boulder. Karim Alasa. He's been so strong in defense today, a stalwart in defense. And I think he's helped, really helped the course of a crowd of in defense. And good play there by Hamza Abdullah, but offside. Offside. Some of the fans didn't see that. And clearly, Hearts of Oak. Preparing to celebrate their second victory of Okoroko in Kumasi in six months. And this will not be a good result at all for the court of Coach Ebert Adu of Kumasi Asante. And unfortunately for the Okoroko management, until last time, the talk will be about the match. Because it's been peaceful. Still not as packed as it was on that day. And clearly everything on course. Good play. And Afum. Well, could this be? Good catch there by Lord Corte. I was about to say, could this be a last chance for Kotoko? Probably Lord the said a resounding no. <laughs> Probably the last for Asante Kotoko. It looks as if it's going to be a day for a crowd. So for no wonder, most of the fans are, are, are trooping out of the stadium. And that was the ball inside. Lord Kote has looked assured in goal. Looks so confident on the ball. And Kotoko, time ticking. Seconds remain before the referee blows his final whistle. And Hearts of Oak, are they going to go for it? And this is Teoflos Apo, good play. And Benadombote failed to finish. And that is the end of the match. And Kodoko have suffered their second straight defeat in the top four competition. Hearts of Oak winning for the second time in six months. 1-2-1 one, one here on February 8th and won 1-0 one, one here this afternoon. They've taken their points, build up to three, Kodoko, and that for me is the man of the match. The boulder, Karim Alassan, has done a superb job keeping out the likes of some other one and Alexa Samoa. The Hawks fans have turned from the Masters Stadium into a carnival atmosphere. And obviously, Kodoko, serious questions are going to be asked. And uh, chief among whom is, is Herbert Adler, the man for the job. Is he suffering from interference? 
and uh, a bit of calming down by the police. Just well, I think that the referee really had a good day. Um, I don't think that um, um, the referee should be heckled in any way at all. He had a good game. Kumasi and Santi Kotoko, I think that they need to really strategize. They need to really double their efforts. If really they want to make an impact in this competition. But to coach Herbert Ado, I would say another unfortunate result for him. Um, he put he laid his cards on the table to the management, and it looks as if they had wanted to judge him by the performance of the team in the top four competition. And it looks as if it's not going his way. Another defeat that defeat coming there with Kumasi and Santi Kotoko. And there you can see the fans of Accra, of Jubilating. The players, 